you welcome back this is breakfast daily and just to remind you that we're still in october and so we are still creating awareness you know um, for breast cancer and so today on our consumer technology segment we will be talking breast cancer as well yeah yeah how you know technology can help us deal with breast cancer better now i have here with me steven nase buedi nase you're welcome thank you very much great to see you yeah great to see you too great to see you so so breast we are still talking breast cancer i remember yes. last week we touched on yeah. that yes. so now we are looking at the apps and applications you mm. know that can help us deal with breast cancer mm -hmm. properly exactly yeah. um i think what we've seen over the years is that when it's october everybody's creating so much awareness and all of that mm -hmm. Technology today should allow us to have that education and awareness creation all year round. Mm. I call it always on. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're using the apps and the websites yeah. for. Yeah. Two weeks ago, we looked at an app called Know Your Lemons. You remember that yes. one? Yes. And those of you who didn't watch it, just download Know Your Lemons. Mm. You can set it up, personalize it, so it can even tell you when it's a good time to take your yeah. um, checks and all those mm -hmm. things. So it's very, very good to do that. Yeah. Today, we want to look at one website. Mm -hmm. It's called breastcancernow.org okay. so go to breast cancer now the website is breastcancernow.org okay okay so you can see it on your screen now if you go there again you see the sign in um in at, the, at the top yeah that tells you that if you click on it you can add some details mm -hmm. and then it can send you personalized inf personalized yeah. information but this website is a website that has a lot of resources. Okay. So we're going to go through some of the resources that are there. Mm. And mm. these are resources that are always there. So whether it's October, December, November, mm. whenever, mm. you can go there. But, but let me find out for me, why mm. would you choose this website above any other? Uh, I reviewed a number of websites, but this one yeah. has rich content, okay. great content. Okay. Unfortunately, like we said two weeks ago, in Ghana, nobody has really seen the need to create something like this yeah. so again we're reminding people mm -hmm. this is a way to invest and give back to society yeah yeah, yeah. because we talk i about think CSR now people everywhere. are really yeah. health conscious you yeah. know and so if you have something like this don't don't worry because we will really patronize yes. it yes yes and, and that's why this program yeah. is good we're encouraging yeah. people to see this route also as csr mm -hmm. of course yes yeah. and, and and that's what we're doing so if you go to the menu mm -hmm. and the first one we want to look at is you go to menu and you open information and support yeah so when you see some of the things that are there um if you just click on have i got breast cancer mm -hmm. okay and th on this page for example it will tell you some of the signs and symptoms yeah which we are not doctors mm -hmm. And so we're not going to pretend to be doctors, no. but this will help you to be able to see some of them, see them early, shows you pictures, it shows you also what signs and symptoms of breast cancer, uh, benign breast can mm. conditions. It shows you some of them. So you can click on all of these. Yeah. Most of the time, won't click on them to mm. read what causes breast cancer, uh, what causes um, breast cancer genes and family history. Yeah. Because some people, I mean, believe that you inherit it from, I mean, parents or whatever. So mm. these are all things that are mm. there. Mm. This is education that. It's not prevalent yeah. in Ghana commonly. I mean, every now and then, like we've said in October, we we'll get together and when everybody's running around trying to educate people. I think what we do is we don't really go into details. No. You know, we are always talking about get screened, get screened. Yeah, yeah. But beyond the screening, no, what? Because yeah. I think that we should know why it's even necessary to screen. Exactly. How does someone determine or mm -hmm. detect that mm -hmm. there's some kind of change you know yeah even if you want to do the self-examination what is the right way to do that mm -hmm. and all What's that the right time exactly because you remember yeah. last week you talked about it yes depending on this time the of cycle, the month yeah you may feel different things. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. what's the right time to feel so that what you yeah. feel is the right yeah. thing to feel. So these are all very, very important. And like I've said, this is a website that's there. The content is there. You can go there, middle of the night, I mean, tomorrow, whenever, yeah. go there and access it. Mm. So for me, it's great. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's look at another, I mean, um, menu item. So if, if you go to the menu and go again to the information and um, support, Yes. say what to expect as an appointment. Mm -hmm. This is very, very important. Yes. And one of the things is, in Ghana, when we hear stories about breast cancer, people mm -hmm. get scared. Yes. So they are scared to even go for the doctor's appointment to mm -hmm. do the mm -hmm. check. Mm -hmm. I mean, I always tell my friends, and let's say, even guys, we also need to do the check. But ladies do it more. I always yeah. ask my friends, have you done your annual check, this and that? And sometimes mm -hmm. just dealing with the anxiety and everything else. Of course. So here, it will give you some of the tips to, I mean, do, for mm -hmm. example, um, what to expect. And say, if you are being referred to a breast cancer clinic by your GP or if you've been recalled following routine breast cancer, it's natural to feel anxious and worried. So it's yeah. trying to manage your mm. anxieties and all yeah. of that. Yeah. What we want to be able to communicate is that 
breast cancer, being diagnosed with breast cancer doesn't mean it's a dead situation. Mm -hmm. It can't be managed. Yeah. You just need the right support. Like we've said, need the right people around you, right, right medical attention and everything. And that's why we're doing. Mm -hmm. And these platforms, I think, are worth information that everybody needs to assess. You know, I think yesterday or um, three days ago, we yeah. had a quote, you know, yes. on Breakfast Daily that mm -hmm. says, focus on the fight mm -hmm. and not the fright. Exactly. You know? I like that. Yes. So, so I think, I mean, it's normal. Mm -hmm. It's normal that you feel a bit uneasy. You feel yeah. you determine yeah. something abnormal mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. as a human being, you know. Mm -hmm. But what we have to know is, it's always best mm -hmm. to know it early yeah. and deal with it, mm -hmm. you know, because the more... The breast cancer doesn't care mm. about your anxiety. No, it no, doesn't no, care no, about no. whether you are scared <laughs> or you are not scared. You know? nah. The more you delay, the worse it becomes. So yeah. I think that yeah. is also very necessary. And that knowledge is, means that you've dealt with half yes. of the yes. problem. I mean, I often say that sometimes you go to visit a GP and the GP you know and cry out. You will leave not feeling all right. Sometimes but you, you even go and they tell you that drink water. But because you've <laughs> gone to see a GP yeah, and the GP is telling you, you're okay. You you're know? okay. Yeah. Exactly. So, I mean, these are some of the things we're trying to talk about. So, again, on this mm -hmm. page, you'll yeah. see that. Uh, let's look at another one. I mean, um, let's see, um, there's one that, because we haven't talked about men. Let's, yeah. So, okay, let's do this one. Going through treatment, for example. Mm -hmm. Because that's another one. You go mm -hmm. to that page. And we'll tell you stories about who, so understanding your treatment, yeah. what's going on with your treatment. Because sometimes some of the things people don't take it serious enough, whether it's surgery or whatever, mm -hmm. radiotherapy and all these things, yeah. understand them. Because there, sometimes there are all sorts of misinformation, misinformation about them. Yeah. So we need to be informed appropriately. Let me say again that these tools are there. And the good thing about digital and our love is that mm. this information can be shared. Yeah. So for example, if you stumble on it today, if there's a WhatsApp group with you and your friends, but start sharing that group, having conversations, because mm -hmm. we're looking out for each other. Yes. That's the whole idea. Yeah. So this platform, for me, has great information mm -hmm. to educate you and keep you, positive, so that you know at every point what you need to know about breast cancer. Mm. And, and I mean, the, the easiest part is the fact that it's with you. Technology is with you wherever you are going yeah. because you have your mobile phone. Exactly. And you can get um, cheaper Android phones, you know. And so mobile phones are not just for, you know, um, texting. Yeah, yeah. And watching Obinim's videos. <laughs> Obinim will fight with you. Obinim will fight with you. That's a fair thing to it's say. It's a thing. <laughs> well, well, but I think that there are many more yeah. others there. But, yeah. but no, but what I'm trying to say is, this is easier, you know. Yeah. Sometimes you realize that how you are feeling, somebody has felt it. You go to the frequently asked questions mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. you realize that you have mm -hmm. answers mm -hmm. there. So, I mean, this is very useful. Yeah, that, that's another one. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't play the videos okay. here. But one of the things you'll find is people share their stories. Yeah. How they've gone through it. Some people even have diaries. So, they document every day what they mm. were dealing with. Mm. And it's inspiration and it's consolation for some people yeah. that are going through it. So, just knowing that somebody else has gone through your experience mm -hmm. kind of assures you that you can beat this one. Yeah. And I always say, we can beat this. We mm. just need to be better informed yeah. and seek help when we need it. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So, so let's, let's go back to the website and yes. um, other things we have to know about it. So, I can also see... Uh, aside the information and support, yeah. research. Yes. So research, for example, um, what is research? Uh, so secondary breast cancer, for example. Mm. Okay, because these are things that are ongoing. The, the challenge we have today is that because of what we eat and the yeah. weather conditions and everything that's changing, there are always new developments mm -hmm. and research is always going on so that you are well informed about it because mm. some of the things that you would find even the doctors learned when they're in school, mm. They get new cases, they diagnose and they find that, ah, this one is new. This mm -hmm. one looks new to yeah. me. Yeah, yeah. That's what we need to put a lot of research into this. Yes. And again, the message here for us as Ghanaians is companies that are involved in breast cancer education invest a bit of money also into researching these things. Yes, yes, it's very necessary. Okay, and it's, the co a company can set up this website, for example, mm -hmm. whether it's uh, a hospital, an insurance company, or whatever that's been involved in this, set this up. It shouldn't cost you too much. Yeah. Yeah. Set this up and get people involved. There are so mm. many doctors out there that you can crowdsource. They will collaborate with you to provide this content. Over this month, I mean, on this show, you brought a lot of great doctors. Yeah. Who I don't think would charge to provide this knowledge. Mm -hmm. So let's source all this information, create a portal like this out there. But it's important that we continue the research because yeah. we keep finding new things about 
mm. breast cancer and other I mean, diseases. Yeah. You know, and on the menu, something mm. is also here that is very interesting. Mm. You've just mentioned um, we need to support each other yes. by sharing information. Yes. If you're on a WhatsApp group, yeah. if, even on your mm. um, social media yes. platforms and yes. all. Now, you also have the Get Involved. Yes. Right, and I think that this is a fantastic way because it's giving ideas as and to how campaign. you can support yeah. people. You know, yeah. sometimes you really want to give out, you uh -huh. want to give back to society, mm -hmm. but everything seems so huge, mm -hmm. you don't even know where to start from. Mm -hmm. You know, and I think that this is very important. So, if you take us through some of the things it says yeah. about get involved, I think it's very, very interesting. You know, mm -hmm. you can even decide to wear pink, yeah, and, and that's the easiest one we do here, yeah. But I can see a charity runs, for example. Yeah. Charity bike rides. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, guys, for example, who like riding, why don't we all just ride up the Abri Mountain, raise yeah. money to support some of these things? For example, um, uh, charity walk, for example, and things like that. Even, I mean, different going to hospital to talk to people or having breakfast with people who are suffering. Just get people to network like that. We love our kinky, we love our watching. Exactly. So, so through instead, a of, instead of party, afternoon tea, yeah. why are we not saying. Um, Watch it morning. You know, morning, how's yeah. a cocoa morning? Yeah. You know, oh, oh, oh. And all that. <laughs> well, like we're doing, see, Yoko Gari morning. You know, you Sunday know, morning. No, I Let's think that, that we can pick ideas, you yes. know. So it's very necessary that we also rely on websites like this, mm -hmm. you know. So, for instance, mm -hmm. we've been talking about someone setting up mm -hmm. um, a website, a website to that will localize mm -hmm. our mm -hmm. situation for mm -hmm. us. Yeah. Something that we can relate to, something mm -hmm. we are familiar mm -hmm. with, you know. Let me tell you one that yeah. I discussed with our own friend Jessica. Mm -hmm. So, over a year ago, she and I had a chat. Yeah. And I said, back a girl could even get on a bike, travel between here and uh, Cape Coast, yeah. stop at various I mean, towns. Get, the girls will come out to see what they're doing yeah. and educate them. You know, and, and this, this looks so simple. It's yeah. it, extremely doable. Yeah. And they, they, very, they don't very cost a lot. Do. So I'm That's glad cool. you highlighted this. Yeah. These are different ideas. And when mm -hmm. you go through the website, it will give you different ideas yeah. of things that you can do to help contribute to this awareness. We shouldn't leave to the just doctors. And TV stations and the rest, yeah. we should all yeah. get involved. Yeah. Because, yeah. you know, talking about all these, I think that, for instance, if you have a group of ladies, you know, mm -hmm. in pink, yes. moving together, oh. you will attract the needed attention. Now, people will ask, uh, who are they? Mm -hmm. And that's a way of mm -hmm. educating people. So sometimes you realize that you can really start small, but you don't know how to go about yeah. it. And websites like this are what you need. Give you ideas. And then mm. capture that content. So all the pictures and the rest, bring them back onto yeah. social. Yeah. So they are there forever. People can always go back. It's not a one-off thing. Mm. It's there on demand. People can mm. always go back and look at them. But, but how, how difficult is it to do this? How, how, why are people not doing it? Setting uh, websites and all. Or we don't think about those things. We don't think about them. I think that I take part of the blame. My industry takes part of the mm -hmm. blame. We always think if it's, we're setting up a website, it's to sell our products. Yeah. We see CSR money, as, money, money. Yeah, yeah. We see CSR as going to build a school, building yeah. all this. But these are things that really touch hearts. Mm -hmm. These mm -hmm. are emotional things. And yeah. it's uh, some of these up. Because of a show like this, I can't talk about some of the things that I did with other brands when yeah. I was working there mm -hmm. because they are not going to pay us. Yeah. But a few brands, multinationals, are investing in these. Like I've said over and over, we need to start thinking yeah. along these lines. Yeah. We can't leave it to just radio stations and TV stations. Yeah. Radio and TV is not charity. No. You're doing your bit. Of course. But CSRs and other uh, uh, big companies like banks and the rest, it will cost the maximum 20000 50000 which is not a lot to create some of these. Yeah. All right. So now say um, we'll have to end our conversation here. It's awesome yeah. that you are in pink today. You know, supporting <laughs> the campaign. Of course, of course. <laughs> and that, that's how you do it. You know, exactly. because I've noticed that. Okay, so it's in October, and you are wearing pink. And I, I mean, connected to yeah. Breast Cancer Awareness yeah. Month. You know. So if we want to have further conversations with you, where can we find you? Just look for me on Twitter at Nase. Okay. All that right. works for me. Okay. Right. So we'll come look for you at NASA. And please tell your people, you know, your industry friends to give us a website because we want to We're know preaching. the nearest <laughs> place that we can go for yeah. our screenings yeah. and stuff like that. Thank you very much, NASA, for this conversation.